The Nigerian government, they have tried their best for two or three years. They have become silent. And even about our children, we haven't had anything. Five years since her daughter Rifkatu was abducted from Chibok, Yana Galang says the world has since forgotten about Nigeria's missing girls. We want to assist, uh, assist her from the other countries so that we will make the life of our children better. Galang has come to America, meeting on the sidelines of the UN's annual gathering of world leaders to appeal for international help. The one thing we want from them is our children. Her heartbreak was what prompted Nigerian filmmaker Joel Kachi Benson to make a movie, the award-winning 2019 Daughters of Chibok, about Galang's life. These women, the parents of these girls, are living in pain and poverty. And it is wrong on so many levels for us to forget and move on. Since 2014, 107 girls have been either rescued or released, but Galang's daughter Rivkatu wasn't among them. Yana, when other girls are rescued in your town, I'm sure you sit down and you ask them, what about Rivkatu? What do they tell you? They say that she's still alive. Many of them are still alive. And they say they show her. What do they tell you about her life, what she's going through? They are suffering there in the bush. You know, uh, we, we didn't go there to see, but the girls that come back, they tell us that really they are in suffering. They are not in good condition. But that was two years ago, and she says she hasn't heard anything about Rifkatu since. Galang says she's confident that her trip to America will, at the very least, force people to remember. Yeah, they will remember uh, this our girl again. People will start talking about it. Maybe by that time, we will still have hope for uh, the people to risk our girl for us. 112 girls are still missing. In any society where, where things are done right, things should come to a standstill until those girls are found.